what's up i'm back with another video in today's video i'm gonna be explaining bots and call of duty mobile for y'all who don't know bots been in the game since the beta since the game first launch it basically been here they are part of the game but what people don't know is bots wasn't as they wasn't as mainstream as they is right now. As you know, back when Call of Duty Mobile first launched and it was in its prime or whatever, the only time you really ran into bots was majorly in public match because that's basically what they designed for. Bots is made to basically fill in the real player spot when it's not competitive. For example, if you don't feel like playing against real people, you could easily just go to public match, pick a mode that nobody plays, and Call of Duty will fill it, fill up the live build bots. Bots is also intended to fill up spots where players not playing, even in battle royale and stuff. What people not noticing is how frequent bots are used now, and that brings me to this key point. And at this point, I'm gonna talk about it: the bots in Alcatraz, and I'm gonna talk about the bots in battle royale. I don't care about the bots and multiplayer because they always going to be there. They're designed to be there. But that, if, you, if you've been paying close, close, close attention to Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale and Alcatraz for the past few seasons, you will realize it's more bots than real people now. I remember them days where you was lucky to even run into a bot. But now it seems like you're lucky to run into a real player in Battle Royale. But what people don't understand is the real reason why bots are so common now is because people is leaving the game. I've been making all these videos. The game is on a decline. People is leaving. The game is dying. People don't believe what I be saying. But the proof is in the pudding. Look how long it take you to find rink matches. People think you find rink matches because they put in your face, oh, we're trying to find the equal opponent or, oh, we trying to do this because it's harder to find the legendary. That's not the case. The case is less players are playing, which means it's harder to find lobbies because less players mean less competition, which mean the traffic is low. And that's for rink side. That's why rink takes so long. Remember them days when you used to go on rink and find the rink match in less than 25 to 30 seconds. Now you sitting right here for 400, 500 seconds and stuff sometimes. People is leaving. I keep telling y'all, this season upcoming will determine if this game die or if it's going to stay alive. I keep preaching this over and over. I'm pointing out all the flaws. I'm pointing out all the rubbish that's going on. Watch is the clear indicator. If you go in a battle royale match right now, I guarantee you're going to see bots everywhere in the pre-lobby they literally gonna walk up to you and start knifing you or they just gonna run across the map and start knifing you that's bots that's literal bots basically battle royale is probably 75 percent bots now 25 percent real people bots was used to be fillers but now they're used because they basically replace some real players Real players aren't playing this game. I'm going to be totally honest. I feel like the most people left Season 10 after the Gunsmith was introduced. Because after they did that big Gunsmith update, it was like they just didn't care no more. But I'm going to tell y'all right now. All these bots is coming from people not playing the game no more. Keep in mind, yes, bots was in the game. But people had enough. People were sick of playing this game. Call of Duty not putting in no effort. All they want to do is drop mythics, drop legendaries. They don't even care about the free-to-play players. I mean, they honestly don't. All they care about is money, money, money. They're not even fixing the game. They're making these guns of a poverty. They're making the guns and the draws extra OP so people can buy them. They're adding pay-to-win AKs and stuff. They're adding all the things from crates into bundles. I mean, pay attention to what this game is doing. They don't care about the, they don't care about the, I call us customers, but I'm going to say they don't care about their supporters no more. They basically made all their money and like, we don't even care now. As you can see, the Chinese version is already looking like an upgraded version that we got. 
like I said, that game only gonna appeal because they gonna want people to play it and not come play Garena or this other mode. But believe it or not, this this in the future, get used to playing against bots more than getting, playing against real people. Unless you play ranked. If you play ranked, you're gonna get real people all the time. But if you do just focus on rank, prepare to sit in lobbies for much longer than you think. And if you play Battle Royale, just, just prepare yourself to kill a lot of bots. Because there's going to be a lot of bots. Especially if this next season don't shape up because the expectations are so high. And, and Call of Duty don't know it, but people seeing that Chinese version, so a lot of expectations are so high. Especially on the Battle Royale side. But like I said, I'm not here ranting. I'm not here downplaying this game. I'm just literally telling you how it is. This is my opinions. I'm going to call it opinions because people like to, you know, throw their two cents. So I'm going to just call it my opinions so nobody could counter what I see. But all I'm trying to see is all these bots are literally from players leaving. That's the simplest way I can put it. The more bots you see me, the less real people there are playing the game. And I'm just telling y'all early, this game is going to die if they don't fix it. This game has been in critical condition. We got pushed through so much. Only so much times you could push before they shove over. But with that said, I'm out of here, coach.